Hey guys, what we're doing today, clearing honeysuckle. As you can see, this thing is a real jungle. When honeysuckle gets old, it gets pretty nasty and tangled. And deer and really, I did kick a rabbit out of here, but I don't really see anything else. It's just so tangled and such a mess that uh, the best thing to do here is to get rid of it. I'm cutting it by hand and dragging it out there and burning it. But what we're going to do today is bring in a, the pecan head is on its way. And uh, we'll get this ground up. And then next spring, I'll put herbicide on the stumps to keep them from sprouting back. And we'll uh, put some wildflowers and warm season grasses in here. That should be nice when we're done. There's a bunch of cherry, uh, a lot of walnut here, and a few apple trees. So we'll convert it over to something that wildlife can really use. <laughs> Bob, the operator, tell us about the job there, Bob. Well, we spent four hours yesterday grinding this stuff up, and it was thick. Then we switched over to the bucket and started scraping the debris, making burn piles. We got about eight burn piles out of this little area. Yeah, we got some good fires going the over here. looks great. He's going to be able to do anything he wants in here now. It's all nicely sculpted. He can look out across his property all the way across the valley. Yeah, that's you what he wanted was to open that. up. He wanted to open up the view. You want to have that? Yeah, this is the way it was before. You want to have this. That's why we call it land sculpting. And then the last step is to spray all your honeysuckle stumps. Otherwise, you end up right back where you started from. If you don't get these sprayed and killed off. I'm using Garlon 4 and uh, basil oil for that. 